hello and welcome to my channel please like share and subscribe if you like this video and thank you all so much for watching thank you thank you thank you to my day ones twos and threes thank you to all my new subscribers that's coming in that means well thank you so very much appreciate you all and welcome 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 this video is for entertainment and educational purposes only so everything is alleged some it's not and the fair accus is in my description box y'all so let's get to it y'all let's get to it y'all i do not know if y'all have seen this video of ricky smiley today y'all <laughs> y'all this is a mess this is a mess cat williams got these ninjas crying y'all okay um ricky smiley which we all know his son passed away last year never mind okay and may he rest in peace but never mind y'all when he was coming to his daddy house he wouldn't even let him in when he came to visit Ricky Smiley, he would not even open the door. He talked to him through the door, through the through the um glass, y'all. This is Ricky Smiley, okay? And never mind last year when his son passed away, he acted as if it was party time, y'all. You didn't see a you you didn't see no kind of sadness, no nothing, no nothing. Now I know they all gonna light the comments up. A lot of people gonna be like um pe people mourn a different way do you party first for a whole year and enjoy that your son is gone and then the next year after when it you know somebody call you out on your stuff then now you want to cry he got on social media he started crying y'all while he was making coffee this morning okay He's making coffee and then he just busts out. He walk away from the screen and he start busting out just crying, 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 y'all. And then at the same time he did this, somebody walked up to him. I don't know if y'all seen it. If y'all haven't, y'all can go to, I think, Night and Day Network got it up too. But a lot of people was posting it, okay? But the thing of it is, if you're so emotional and you're going through something or whatever it is that you're going through, why would somebody in the background asking you, is you okay? And all of this, I'm okay. I'm okay. <laughs> I'm okay. okay. <laughs> Why would you turn around and upload that and, and, and so people can feel sorry for you? I'm so sick of these celebrities trying to play the sympathy card because they get called out on a mess. Everybody and their mama said the same thing Cat Williams said. That he is fake and phony and that, that a lot of people said this. That he played a major part in his son. Okay, y'all. A, a lot of people said this. And they said it had to do with his sorority. I even did a video on it. Because he said this out of his own mouth. That he never thought he would be attached to an organization. That he would have to bury his son. He said this. So what does that mean, y'all? He's attached to an organization. That his son had to be taken out. For his fame and fortune. Basically, y'all. Okay? So, out of all the times that everybody said this on their pages, he didn't bust out crying, but now everybody want to be like, oh, Cat Williams hurt his feelings and he going through some stuff. I, I, I cannot stand a lot of people that just act like they don't see the forest for the trees. I, I cannot stand it. it. It makes no sense. How do you, par I mean, this guy was all over the place. Like he was, he had won the lottery when his son passed away last year. There was no sympathy. He was cooking in the kitchen, cooking. He was all over the place, acting like he was getting ready for the party. Every time you saw him, he was acting as if, you know, all eyes on me. And he was getting all the attention from his son's past. And there was no kind of sadness. None of that, y'all. He was cracking jokes, all of that stuff when his son passed. So y'all mean to tell me, because Cat Williams said some little, little, little something, something that wasn't really major about him. That people wasn't surprised about. Is he crying about? He called him out about the dress. We all know he wore a dress. And he wore it well. It's just like Cat Williams said, y'all. Some people can wear, you know, dress up as a woman and they play a better actor. Which tells you they're more comfortable being playing a woman role than a man. Anything that, you know, Ricky Smiley play as a man, it's, it's not believable. This is what he said. So after Cat Williams come for everybody, now you want to cry when y'all have blackballed this man for years? And then people want to come forth and lie and say, I didn't, um, if he needed any help with anything, I would help him. We all know that's a lie because he's in the same huddle with Steve Harvey now. 
and Ceddie and Cedric the Entertainer and all of this stuff. He's in that same huddle. It's just like, y'all, it's just like Cat Williams said. And I said this on the other video. People have their picks and chooses in the industry. And it doesn't matter what, you know, what genre that you're in. Okay? If you are a rapper, they got their picks and chooses. If, you, if you're not down with what they're down with, they push you out. Or they get rid of you. Okay? And this has been going on for years. If you're an actor and they want you out the way, you're getting all the roles and this and that and that and this, they, other actors hate on you. Because they go to show up at the same time when everybody is about to, you know, audition and you show up, they know they ain't going to get it because you there. And instead of, you know, people working together with other people and this and that and getting along, they hate on that person because they're, they're more talented. And it's no different in this, this comedy thing. It's no different, y'all. To be honest with y'all, I'm so happy that Cat Williams came out and aired everybody out. I, I'm, I'm so happy that he did it. Not to mention, I'm, it, it feels good to see everybody just come forward. All the old schools that, you know, paved the way for everybody else to come out and say something about this. Now, a lot of people's lying. A lot of people's hiding behind the fact that he did tell the truth on them. But this little crap, this... <laughs> really? Really? Ricky Smiley got a talk show, all kind of stuff going on for him. He want people to feel sorry for him and turn them against Cat Williams because Cat Williams told the truth on him. Stop stealing jokes. Stop lying on people. Stop boycotting people. Stop blackballing people. Because this is what they have been doing for years. This is why the, the best is always pushed to the back. And then we stuck with the, the mediocre people that can tell a joke every now and then. Because they get together, the ones that ain't that good, and they push out the people that is good. I'm, I'm so happy that people are coming out talking about this. Mike Epps just came out and talked about this. Um, Dave Chappelle is coming out. Everybody is coming out. All the greats are coming out now in defense of what was is really going on in the industry. And I'm so happy they are. Oh, Lord, I am. Because it's time to air this mess out. Because we all be wondering, like, why is all of these comedy, you see all these comedy shows, you see all of these mediocre, Nick Cannon and all of these little lames and stuff got shows and, and Cat Williams don't have one? Make that make sense. Kevin Hart is all over the place, like he one of the best comedians out here, when there are people better than him. Why is he everywhere? It's room for everybody, but why do they push other people out? And that's the whole point of this whole thing in the first place. But you mean to tell me this grown man is sitting back crying to, to try to get sympathy? Man, y'all. And then they got some of his fans and stuff talking about he's going through some stuff. He's going through what? Somebody telling the truth on him? Because the show ain't about his son. And everybody like, oh, this is the time his son passed away. He ain't even cried when his son passed. He wasn't even really vibing with his son at the time his son passed. He didn't want his son to come to his house. When he came to the door, what you doing here? And he did not let that man in the house with him. How you going to be crying a year later after you done partied a whole year and celebrated now it comes to a year, the, the, the year that passed, now all of a sudden he acted like his son just passed away? Are you serious? Is he crying about his son or is he crying about the fact that Steve, I mean, um, Cat Williams just aired him out? Because I'm just saying, y'all, that's what I get from this. Y'all let me know in the comment section what y'all think about, um, Ricky Smiley crying. If y'all haven't seen it, I think it's on Night and Day Network. Go over there and check it out. They got the full video up. I, I, I don't like putting up people's full videos because they always try to come to you, especially if you ain't saying nothing that they want you to say. Okay, y'all? But um, go check it out. Come back and let me know what y'all think about this whole thing. Do y'all think it's fake? Do y'all think he's just crying because he just got aired out? And now everybody know that y'all all in a little huddle together and y'all make sure y'all push other people out. And y'all get more and more connections in the industry so y'all can make y'all voice and choice about 
who get into these movies, who get into y'all little circle. And this, this whole thing has to stop. If we can air out and everybody can air out the rappers that's doing this mess, why can't we air out the comedians that's doing it? It is so many movies that then came out that could have been much, much funnier if Cat Williams would have been a part of it. And Dave Chappelle. But they, the two of them has been pushed out of so many things that don't make no sense. It's even comedians that's bloggers right now. And they're better than the people that we're seeing that they are putting all on these movies and everything else. Why do we have to settle? Why do we have to settle? It doesn't make any sense. But anyway, y'all let me know what y'all think in the comment section. Yes, he was crying like a baby, y'all. That somebody had to come over there and ask him, is he okay? I'm okay. <laughs> I'm okay. The truth really does hurt, don't it, y'all? I mean, Cat Williams came, swooped in, and got everybody talking. All of the comedians then climbed out their holes that they was in, wherever they was. And everybody is talking about Cat Williams right now. And matter of fact, y'all, his ticket sales is going through the roof, okay? I didn't even know he was touring right now, but he's touring again. And I'm happy for him. I just hope he keeps security around him so he don't have to deal with no teenagers on no bull crap because these little kids is be on some hating stuff too, okay? And, and he don't have to deal with the haters and people that's going to try to come at him for speaking, you know, doing what he do. You mean to tell me that the Trick Daddy guy jumped on here. And then somebody just played it, sent me the, the clip of him talking about Trick Daddy. He told a joke. He told a joke. And Trick Daddy got in his feelings about the joke. And all of a sudden, he hates Cat Williams now. Really? Because he told a joke? That's what people go to comedy shows for. To laugh. Sometimes they talk about people in the audience. They laugh at their own self when they talk about them. This is what having a good night going out to a comedy show is all about. Laughing. And this is what comes from that. It, it's the same thing I said about, you know, Jada Pickett and all of that other stuff when Will Smith got up and, and, and put his paws on Chris, whatever his name is, Chris Rock or whatever his name is. He told a joke. This is what comedians do. I'm so sick of these guys out here that have got so sensitive. I don't know what's going on in this world. Whatever it is that they're doing, they need to stop it. Because people used to enjoy good comedy. And now when somebody comes out and do good comedy, people get offended by it. They get offended. Which is a sad thing because that just pushes comedians, you know, to another, to the side. As if that what they've been doing for all these years is not important. This is why everybody's so upset around here. You can't laugh anymore. It makes no sense, y'all. You should be able to brush it off and go about your business. If you go to a com comedy show and they talk about you, Martin Lawrence used to talk about everybody in the audience on Deaf Comedy Jam. He just looked around in the audience and just picked the person and talked about them like a dog, okay? And they laughed their heart out. We need to get back to those times instead of people pulling out a, you know, a weapon and want to take somebody out over a joke. It makes no sense, y'all. This guy really pushed some sensitive buttons when he came out and started talking. Boy, oh boy, oh boy. Y'all let me know in the comment section what y'all think about this. This grown man was crying like a baby, y'all. Let me see if I can play the, just the crap part. Cause this is this is so crazy. It don't even make sense. He literally was crying, y'all. I'm gonna play the sound. I'm gonna just play the sound if I can. This some sad mess. This some pathetic sad mess.
Can you get your water or something, man? Oh, 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 oh look. You doing okay? All right. Yeah. Can you give you a minute? Thank you. For, thank you. You sure? Okay. Yeah. I appreciate you. Of course, of course. That fake cry. He went from. <laughs> I appreciate you. Did y'all see how that went? And why did he record it? And he's the one that had to upload it because it was his his camera. He recorded this. So why would you upload? Well, however they do it, download upload to social social media so everybody could see you crying or hear you crying in the background. Y'all, I don't know how half of these people got rich. I swear to God, I don't know how a lot of people is rich out here. When they some lames. Crybaby, fake, a sick of lames, y'all. This is what they are. And I don't understand how they didn't get in positions that they didn't get in. I know people that I didn't grow up with from school that's funnier than Ricky Smiley. So why in the world, y'all, is he so rich? I just don't get it. I don't get it. And the more that they come out and show themselves, it, it just goes to show, to prove that Cat Williams was right about them. What all did he not do in the industry to get to where he's at right now? Did somebody bend him over? I don't know. But if he act like it the way he's sitting up there, <laughs> I'm okay. <laughs> Can I get you anything? <laughs> no. <laughs> y'all, please. I can't even do it with this one. I can't. But anyway, y'all, let me know what y'all think in the comment section. Please like, share, and subscribe if you like this video. And thanks for watching, y'all. Peace.